Hey everybody, this is Michael K. Malloy and I'm coming to you today with a, an InfoPath 2010 slash SharePoint 2010 tip that will help make sure you do not screw up your InfoPath template that's being stored inside of a SharePoint 2010 form library. So you've been working real hard, you've got this uh, awesome uh, form library, you got a couple of fields here and you decide, well you know what? I need to add something more than just name and shoe size. I need to add shoe color. And you want to make sure you preserve all of your data. Don't lose anything. So the best way to do that is to uh, take a look at your document library here and you're going to go into your library tab, library settings, and ultimately what you want to do is make sure that you have enabled management of content types. So I already had that enabled, but the way I did that was going into Advanced Settings and choose Allow Management of Content Types. And that will open up your Content Type section. From here, open up your Content Type, and then we got one more uh, area to go to, and that's the Advanced Settings of the Content Type. From here you're going to choose to edit that template. What will happen now is it will open up automatically in InfoPath Designer. So from here you do your work. Let's say you want to add a new field for color. So we'll go ahead and add another row. We'll drop in our color and let's say you want it to be a choice, so we're going to go ahead and change that from a text box to drop down list. Double click here, access control properties, enter choices manually. We'll go with black and quarter of it. You have to excuse the sound of my uh, laptop, laptop, laptop fan. It's time for a new laptop, folks. Okay, so we've got our, our information here, and we want to go ahead and save that, save as, probably should have done this first, uh, we're going to save it in a different location than any place we may have saved it previously on our desktop, so we'll create a new folder, we'll call it shoe updates. and we'll just save it in here for the time being. So we've got our updates done. So now let's go ahead and click on File. And we want to go and publish that. SharePoint Server. That's the location of the document library. Next. And we're going to choose form library, that's where we have it stored. Update existing. And now we only have name and shoe size, so we have to go in and add anything that we created. So now when we republish, we'll have the color field as well. Next, publish. Close. Close out InfoPath. We'll cancel here. Go back to our shoes. And there we go. Now we have color. So we click on Add Document. It'll ask you here to update your form. Save and update. And there's color. So there you go. Uh, this has been Michael K. Malloy with your InfoPath tip for today, and I wish you happy SharePointing.